Hello and welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I show you the Bent device. And the Bent device is a device where you um, bend notes from an offset pitch, higher or lower, to the original pitch. Like for example this G is um, bending from minus 7 semitones to the original G. And how you do that I show you now, but let's get started. Okay, this is the bent device and I'll open the help window. So it says bends to each notes pitch. So this is the bent device and as you can see I configured it to minus seven, 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 seven semitones and if I press a G it bends up from minus seven semitones to the original G. So this is the first um, this is the first um, option we can configure. So uh, configure it to minus seven seven tones, and I get this effect. So underneath here is a line that you can uh, configure more uh, con convex or concave. So this um, has an influence on the speed of the pitch, of the pitch, not, not of the pitch, of the bending. So if you uh, configure that uh, con concave, it goes up fast and slows down at the end. And if you con configure it uh, concave, it, goes, it starts slow and speeds up in the end. This is in the start um, quicker than in the end. Okay, underneath this line or this bent shape, there is the time configuration, and the time um, is set by default to um, sixteenth. And uh, this means the this means <laughs> the duration, like here said, the duration in beats what the bend or the duration of the bend. So if I configure it to four sixteenth, it needs four sixteenth time to bend from minus seven semitones to the original G. So if I configure that with a higher note, a higher value, like 10 sixteenth. You notice it's far um, slower and if I go to 2 sixteenths, it's much quicker. And underneath that, here is an additional offset to make it even not fast, like 6 sixteenths, a little bit slower than 6 sixteenths or a little bit quicker than 6 sixteenth. Six, six and um, this slider you can configure from minus um, 33 to plus 33 or one third uh, minus or plus. Okay, and this time button, when you click on it, uh, you change the underneath uh, uh, configuration box to milliseconds or seconds. So um, you're not bent, <laughs> you're not bent to uh, synced bends like 16s, you just can uh, dial in just milliseconds or seconds. Like for example, if you take this 241, longer or up to two seconds. Go back to four four sixteenths. Okay, and then the inspector we have another um, configuration, and this is the pre delay. So this defines when this bending is starting. Uh, is starting. So I can configure like for example seven sixteenths. Nothing happens um, on the minus seven seven tones, and after seven sixteenths it starts bending. Or even quicker, like three. 
for one, two, four. And here we have the same um, beat time offset. So one third plus and one third minus. We can just um, shift the time, the pre-delay from exactly 14 16th to 14 1 third 16th, for example. Okay, and if you um, click on that 16th note, it changes to what you already saw in here to milliseconds and seconds. So we are not bound to um, the to a synced beat. So now you can play a bended note. Maybe I just put that away with a pre delay. But my problem is I don't know when to use it because normally I. Uh, when I use something like a band, I use the pitch band wheel normally while playing because if I use it one time or two or three times in a song, I normally use it with uh, a starting note or something, not on every note. And, and this and this example or this device is just um, having it on every note. So if I, if I play something... Um, it sounds a little bit weird. Maybe I want to make weird music. That's okay. <clears throat> but um, I was wondering if there are real world examples where you use such a device on a track uh, more than, I don't know, in a, in a song with three minutes more than four times or something. And uh, I would normally use this uh, micro Microtunes, am I right? Microtunes, micro pitches. Sorry, micro pitches to dial that in, or uh, like I said, the pitch bend wheel, like this. So I thought, okay, this is a nice device, but okay, I don't know when to use it, or in the real world, how I would, when I would put such a device in in my. Uh, in my device channel so I thought mm -hmm, okay maybe there's there was already something like this I could make with a four stage because with a four stage I just uh, modulate the pitch on seven seven semitones like this down then I have the same result for the pre-delay I just Wait, uh, I just use this one, this one. Now I have the pre-delay. But the same thing. I don't know when to play this in the, in the whole track. And then I thought, okay, maybe there's another possibility. If I use the ADSR, I have the same. But uh, when you, uh, as you can hear, when I uh, release the key, I use the release uh, from the RDS Air to pitch bend down again. Okay, this would be a little bit weird too if I if I would use that all the time. But the ADSR has a um, the, the 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 polyphonic uh, or the poly note um, button. So if if I switch the poly poly note off. So um, if I press a key, it doesn't start the ADSR again, so I can play normal notes. And if I release all keys at the same time, so I always have to play legato or hold one note down that the ADSR or the pitch doesn't uh, occur. Uh, again, I can play with that, and this is something I could imagine to use. That would make sense. 
Okay, uh, maybe you can help me. Please leave a comment. Maybe I'm in the wrong uh, music genre to know about that. And there are lots of um, music genres that just play with only bands. I don't know. Please let me know. I would be very interested to know about that and to listen to such music to know what I've missed my whole life. So, um, yeah. Uh, stay healthy and I hope I see you soon again. See you. Bye bye.